That set is 10 years old. Oh my god, Mark Hamill? Lego Rancor <laughs> is 10 years old. Yo, Mark Hamill's 40 years old. Think about that. <laughs> Mark Hamill's 40 years old? Whoa. No. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Mark Hamill's 40 years old. <laughs> Mark Hamill was born the year Star Wars came out and was inspired by Mark Hamill to play Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Um, what level are we on, Africa? <laughs> Speeder Showdown, your favorite. Ah, uh, no! My favorite. Mmm! Well. Mmm! You know I gotta play as Lego Leia. Lego Slay Leia, the best character in the game. I'm gonna play as someone who can totally ride vehicles. You've seen the, like, super old video, right? The one from, like, 2006? That's the... F Wait, what? The one from two, of someone literally like cam recording their TV Lego Star Wars two, of holding down the special ability button for Slave Land. <laughs> Have you seen it? Hmm. I can see the appeal. Lego, you should bring that character. You should you should bring these things back. I think the name of the video was just Lego Leia. Like I said, it was from like 2006. To be honest, though... Might have been 2007. I don't, I don't think she ever did that in the movie. No, she did not. Yeah, she didn't. She no, they just... I guess they, she, they just put it in the in game her, because... When she was in her slave outfit, she was just there. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here she is in a, in a, you know, in a, in a kid's game. Doing that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you gotta teach him early, right? <laughs> I was supposed to say, you gotta get the adults interested in this game somehow. It's just like Food Fight. <laughs> it's, it's Charlie kid, Sheen and Eva kid, Longoria. It's a kid movie, but you gotta get the adults interested, too. Yeah. Crying over spilt milk. Hey, I'm on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. <laughs> there are some stains you can never wash. Some stains you can never wash out. <laughs> it's a good Charlie Sheen impression. Thank you. But it's better than mine. Did you see how insane Charlie Sheen went after that movie? Did? Yes, I did. That movie broke him because that's ten years of his life just shaved off. I mean, I would think the same way if I was in Food Fight. <laughs> this movie shaved ten years off my life and I went insane. <laughs> that kind of sounds like Jeff Goldblum when I do that. A little bit. All right, ready, ready for this? No, ready, there's probably some stuff this? over here. We're, we're gonna go and head on to the speeder showdown. This is gonna Let's be strawberry jam out of here. <laughs> Let's snap, crackle, and pop out of here. I wonder if, like, I'm kind of curious about, like, the voice recordings for Food Fight. Like, uh, were they... Were, I wanna were see... Were the voice recordings from 2001 or two when the original film was set to were. release? Are the, were the voice see... takes that old, or did they re-record them for the 2012 version? I honestly don't know. I don't think I wanna, anyone knows. I want to see what it looked like whenever, whenever uh, Wayne Brady was making the noise for Daryl <laughs> Jan, yeah, <laughs> crapping out of his eyes. Yeah. That's just uh, <laughs> like what the hell you are bet you? Box tops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, that reminds me, dude. I was chocolate. I was into box tops, man. Were you? No, my mom was though. Like I eat, I used, I still eat a lot of them, but I used to eat a lot of those like Totino's party pizzas, you know. So did I. Yeah, I. Eat, I did. I still eat those all the time. Really, I just eat, still, I see DiGiorno now. Nah, I don't know why, but I've always loved the taste of a good Totino's pizza. By the way, Scout Troopers in this level. And he's even though he's not on the roster. He's wrong though, his arms should not be white. Well, th okay, they were white in the Lego sets. Well, it's wrong. Yeah, it is. But yeah, like, going back to box tops, I never cared for them particularly, uh -huh. but my mom, like, every time I got a Totino's pizza, I would just want to throw it in the oven and just eat it, but mom would always be like, hey, did you get the box top? And I'm like, mom, try to eat food! Yeah. By the way, we almost have True Jedi. Very nice. Very now nice. we have True hey. Jedi. We're just that cool. Yeah, she'd always be like, Gavin, did you get the box tops? Mom! <laughs> I don't scour my packages for little tiny things that don't even help me. All I know is that there's a pizza inside the box, and I want to eat the pizza. What is this arrow for? A 
canister, probably. I hit this man hard enough to, uh... Wait! Does invincibility count when... Yes, it does. You're bringing that thing with us? Oh! You must be Leonard. You must be Leonard. Still can't believe Christopher Lloyd was in that. May I help you? Uh, you can't forget, wasn't Ed Asner in that too? Probably, yeah. Just closing up. Nothing, Nothing much happens, happens around here, here after, after dark. dark. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something somebody would say if something much did happen after dark. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, you remember that movie because of the John Tron video. Yeah. I told you, I have the movie on yeah, DVD. I know. Mr. Clean? Did Mr. Clean just show up in my movie? I think but, it's so weird. He shows up and just does nothing. All he does... No, you gotta help me, Dex, before I go bald! Not that the boat is isn't beautiful! beautiful. <laughs> Literally, all he does is touch his head. That's the only thing of value that he does in the movie. Uh huh. But yeah, I think I've told you my friends have gotten together and watched that movie multiple times. We love it. I want to watch that movie, and then I also want to watch back to back that and Cool Cat Saves the Kids. I have both. We could watch them. Let's do it. Cool Cat loves the boogie woogie. Cool Cat loves food fight. Uh huh. Man, casually trying to sneak up on my ride. Be stupid. You know, Daddy Derek, once I found out Lizzie McGuire was in this film, I was like, Ooh, Daddy Derek, I found a Charlie Sheen's in this school! I probably shouldn't be doing that. Derek's gonna sue us. Yeah. Hey, cool cat. I, hey, Daddy Derek, I've got a great story to tell you. I gotta say, for being the creator himself, he does a terrible impression of his own character. Oh yeah, because then the voice act, the voice of yeah, Cool Jason, Cat leave. What, what's his name? Jason I don't Johnson, know. I think? Oh boy. Yeah, he left because of a thing that actually happened with him and the voice actor of Mama Cat, surprisingly enough. Really? Yeah, so I've been watching, for a while I was watching videos on the whole Cool Cat legality thing. Uh-huh. And, uh... One of the things that happened, the reason why the voice actor of Mama Cat left too, and the reason Jason Johnson were they were they credited in the movie at all? Uh, after the whole legality thing, no. Okay. In the original so cut, originally. I think they were. Okay. But yeah, in the newer versions, he's just literally credited. Cool Cat's just called Cool Cat. I might have that version of the film. But I know the DVD actually made some. Uh, changes to the film. Did your DVD cover peel off too? It might one day. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's taking you a surprisingly long time to answer. I know it's like really cheaply put on. Probably with like glue or something. Yeah, it's like not even gorilla glue. Hang on, we gotta activate this. I was gonna, okay, fine, you can do that. Okay, yep, there's a mini kit right there. Boom. There you go. Cool. What were you saying? But yeah, like, in other versions of the movie, he got real... So, the full story is that there's a lot happening on the production of the movie, and, uh, like, Derek basically kept on... From what I've heard, Derek kept on basically trying to hit on the voice actress of Mama Cat. Of course. Because, you know, he, he's got to get him that, uh... Uh, not YouTube friendly word. Yeah, even though you said it earlier. The the he gotta get his pussy pussy. Yeah. Pussy cat. And so yeah, that that kept on trying to happen. He, she in her words, she kept on trying to come on to her. Ew. Yeah. Not like that, but like you, you know, trying to put himself out there. Mhm. Mm Cause Derek is way too overconfident. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Uh, you don't even need by the me. fact that he made a movie. You don't even need me to tell you. The thing that he thinks his movie is, like, from the face of God himself, pretty much. Yeah. The fact that he impersonated a law firm multiple times, from what I know. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's not a good look, Derek. Nothing's a good look. But yeah, so that happened, and she kept on blowing him off, you know, and, uh, not, not like that. 
I know what you mean. But she kept on trying to basically saying piss off. And then her and Jason decided to just hang out one day. And they had, like, glasses of wine, I think. Uh-huh. Something about that. And I guess that really got Derek's attention. Oh. And so he, this man legit... He got jealous. Breaks into her house, I oh, think. Oh, what? And starts trying to attack Jason, from what I remember. Derek, no, I thought we, I thought we were friends, man. I don't know if it was actually, like, trying to attack Jason, but, like, at the same time, I wouldn't be very surprised. Uh-huh. We had kept on trying to claim his mama cat wife, wife oh, lady. Man. So weird. We should probably stop talking about this. Before we get sued by Derek Savage. All because you brought it up. Thank you. Did I bring it up? Yes, you're the one that brought it up. Oh, yeah, I was. I, I, I think I was the one that started quoting Food Fight and then you came in. Yeah. You must be Lenard. <laughs> Survival of the fittest! Lenard! Every time he says Leonard, I feel like a part of his vocal cords just die. Yeah. That's why I started an Oogie Love and the Big Blue Adventure right after. Sounds like they just told Chris, please do your worst Emperor Palpatine impression. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not finished. And then Charlie Sheen slowly went insane and started getting into drugs. Yeah, it's because of Food Fight. It, it ruined Everything it. is because of Food Fight. All uh -huh. the bad things that have happened in the universe ever it's since 2012. It's because of Food Fight. Yeah. Glad we can agree on that. The whole Grimace shake thing, by the way, Grimace, 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 Grimace. Gotta get this in recommendation somehow. Grimace, Grimace, Grimace. That trend is going to be dead in the waters by the time this video goes up. Grimace, Grimace, Grimace. God. By the way, we are... Um... That trend is going to be dead in the water like the people who drink the shake. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we are recording this during the Grimace's birthday event that's going on. We at are McDonald's. recording this on July eighth of twenty twenty three. Thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, that was a thing at Grimace's birthday celebration. For reference, I don't know what they were thinking. For reference, I showed Mister Master Nine Hundred Nine a video of Grimace getting the chair for it. Uh. Probably our worst recording session yet. Probably. <laughs> In terms of the things we've said, showing that we are terrible people. We, we gotta re-record all of this. We gotta re-record Leia dancing. There you go. How much of this is gonna be censored by Adult Swim? By Adult Swim? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Adult Swim probably doesn't censor anything that they do, really. Because it's Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. Blow it up. I can't get out of the vehicle. Thank oh. you. Oh! You just can't get out? Nope. Very fun. I'm just gonna stay here as long as I possibly can. What's over here? You're gonna have to drag me with you. Also, we don't have the red brick. Okay. Uh, oh, it's in a probably a completely different area. Probably. Great. Get on Get on the bike. Get on the bike. Get on the I bike! I finished. Leonard. Candace, we don't have much time. But Phineas, get on the track! Get on the track! <laughs> Come on, Candace, we don't have much time. I love that. Yeah. Just get on the track! God. It would have been funny if he just... Do not yell into this mic, man. It would have been funny, though, if instead of just his normal voice for when he yelled get on the track, it just turned to the voice of a big burly man. His voice switched to Dan Povenmeyer's. Get on the track! His like rashy Candace voice. Yeah. The more naive. I think it's made with wild parsnips and it's messing with my voice. <laughs> Will someone get rid of that topiary? <laughs> Sounds like the customers I see at work. Really? Yeah, honestly. Or actually, have you ever watched that Jim Carrey movie, Fun with Dick and Jane? I have not. This is one part where. Uh, the, the titular character played by Jim Carrey, Dick, is working at a grocery store. Uh -huh. And he's welcoming a customer in, and, and he tells her where a certain thing is. And she's like, I don't care where the cigarettes. <laughs> and just the voice alone, I was just like, yep, that's work. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to a grocery store or worked at one? Boy, do I have a movie for you. 
Wow. We both We did that in uni a, exact unison. The wrong layer. <laughs> I thought that wouldn't reach at all. Spell it with me now. E-V-I-L-B-O-Y-S. An excellent. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, what is he saying again? What's the word? A fine addition to my collection. Is that it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. That's the, that's the quote. Bang! 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 I did it. Bang! Mom, this bus is gonna be a make a fine addition to my collection! Meow! Okay. I'm so fast. This reminds me of this poor, pitiful old man. So originally, before I was working at where I work now, I was basically working with the same company, but a different location, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, I, I see this guy walking, he walks, back when I worked there, he walked in quite a bit. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he's dead now, as horrible as that sounds, mm -hmm. just with how his voice sounded. But like, honestly, like, I've seen this guy a couple times when I was working there, and I kid you not, he asked for the same thing every time. Marlboro... A uh, <laughs> silver a uh, carton. You know how much that is? A carton is about ten boxes of cigarettes. Oh my for God. those of you who don't know, and they back then. I don't know if this is still the case because I don't smoke. Don't plan on it. But back then they were roughly like seventy dollars, from what I remember. Uh huh. Seventy dollars. Wait, what? Oh my $70 God. Seventy dollars to slowly. Is that in today's money? Y yeah. Okay. Or this was back then, so it may be more now. Oh my god. Got the red brick. Very nice. Nice. But yeah, like, they were $70, and so every time I saw this man walk in, I was like, he is not walking here. For... He was not walking out of that building without spending less than $70. All right. And so yeah, he comes in, but the real kicker is the way he sounds. Because like, honestly, I've seen people who smoke cigarettes. You can tell because their skin is more aged and stuff. Yeah. I died at right as we right <laughs> Wait as we a minute. Later. <laughs> no. Uh, I didn't even mean for that to happen. But yeah, um, so basically, I, I walk in, I, I just ask him, how's his day, how's he doing? Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, the man sounds like this. Score times eight, by the way. Yes! We definitely would love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, the only he, time I've ever seen a carton of cigarettes is on The Simpsons when Bart, like, worked for the Mafia in that one episode. <laughs> Boy, have you started smoking? No. No, Dad. Oh. I, I'm, I'm selling this for my job, Dad. Oh, okay. Just walks off. Just walks away. <laughs> Casually walk away. But yeah, the guy legit sounded like, I want a carton of marble. Ultralight shorts. Look out, no. he could be watching this video. And so I'm like, don't talk about him too much. He's like 96 years old, and hey, I'm sure he's. Don't judge him again, by his he's age. He's probably dead by this point. Don't I don't judge think him he, by his age. I don't think he watches he be watching Guitar Hero too. World Tour videos. Yes, he does. He's Alberto. You take that back. <laughs> All right, anyways, Battle of Endor. We have nothing for this level. Fun. But yeah, um, so that was a customer I had experience with. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's like, a part of me, like, I don't smoke, I don't support people smoking, because it's gross, and, like, I don't like the smell of it either. Uh-huh. Like, I walked through a cloud of what I thought was smoke today. Like, I could just smell the cigarette stench. Uh -huh. As I walked out of the bathroom, and I was, I almost gagged with how bad it was. Yeah. And yeah, like, Maybe I I'm almost... I think to I've, to I've told you that I've gotten used to the smell of secondhand smoke, right? Yeah. Because of how many casinos I've visited because of my parents. <laughs> I don't think you told me that. Oh, yeah. That's that's the reason. Go to the casinos. No, nah, my grandpa, my step-grandpa used to smoke like a freaking chimney, and I always still hated the smell. Yeah. But yeah, I almost refused to give the man cigarettes just because he sounded really pathetic. You just started feeling bad for him? Yeah. Because it's like, whenever you hear someone talking like that, uh -huh. 
Like, how much can you really expect of them? Like, how much life expen expectancy do you really think is coming from someone who takes five full seconds between their words? I mean, I don't mean to judge or anything, but how much, how much happiness do you really think they have in life? A lot. I don't know. I seriously doubt that. I don't know how people who smoke act. I don't know. Well, okay, I haven't met a lot of people who smoke, because, again, the people my parents hang out with. So, pretty dang happy. I don't know, oh, this guy never seemed happy. He always seemed okay. pissy whenever he walked in. Well, hey, considering that in the 20th century, pretty much everyone He smoked. just wanted to get his cigarettes and get the hell out. Yeah. Wait, it's one of those customers where it's like, he's I mean, not happy to see my face, he just wants to go home. Walt Disney smoked and he seemed pretty happy. Yeah. Not as much that, as Disney, the I'm not company saying that smoking is that. the key to happiness, I'm just saying that if you're- I know, what, I know. If you're at does, the point where you It's take, not a factor towards your happiness, it's- But like, if you are it has smoking nothing to, do with it. to the point where it takes you two full seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if it takes you two, two seconds full seconds lot. between words, yeah, that's... I think there's a serious problem. Uh huh. That's just straight up what's called chain smoking, right? I don't even know if that's classified as chain smoking. I think that's like freaking like I don't know what to call it at that point. Not even that chain, just a straight up line. <laughs> Iron bar smoking. <laughs> yeah. The world's first iron bar smoker, and I met him. I have more canisters. Normally I'd say we should turn on disarm troopers, but this is just fun. Yeah. Standing still as they pelt bullets at us. <laughs> yeah. And they just, they, they just, just don't know. Just to flex the fact they that we're indestructible. Know. Exactly. You cannot handle the power of Tamura Morrison. <laughs> Dubbing over some other guy's lines. As you wish. <laughs> He's no good no to me. No disintegrations. Dick. As you wish. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Okay, so you've seen those comparison videos? Yeah. All he right. doesn't say cargo, he says cargo. Cargo? Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Alright, good to Honestly, know. I'm Mr. Surprised. Morrison cannot say cargo. <laughs> the Polynesian spare. <laughs> oh. I don't know what it is about Timur Morrison. I like the way he talks. Fair enough. I don't know. It's between either him or De Bradley Baker. Which one is better? He grabbed the Baker. Yeah. I don't know. I watched that that old 2009 movie that no one remembers recently. The 2008 no, Clone two, Wars movie? No, no, not that. I'm talking a different movie with Bradley oh. Baker. Oh, okay. It was, uh, have you ever seen the movie Astro Boy? <laughs> yes! I, that's on Netflix, in case you... In it's case on you Netflix? Know. Yeah, it's on Netflix. I remember watching that on freaking DVD. I have watched it at least three times within the past week. Oh my god. It's better than I remember, to be honest. I mean, it's from the TMNT guys, so it's, I should kind of expect It's that. better and worse than I remember. Wait, it's from the people who made the 2017 TMNT yes. movie? Yes! Starring Chris Chris Evans and uh, Craig T. Nelson, and uh, you can't forget uh, James Arnold Taylor. Oh right. Chris Evans was in that. Yeah, he was. He's wow. Casey Jones. That's cool. I know. Um, I forget who Craig T. Nelson plays. I'm wanting to say Raphael, but I can. No, it's not one of the main turtles. It's a human character. Oh, he must have been like that weird general guy that nobody remembers. Yeah. Probably. But yeah, I watched Astro Boy recently, and it is, it's better and worse than I remember. Because sure. I managed to find several animation errors upon my viewing of the movie. Really? Yeah. Like continuity errors or like straight up uh, yes. glitches? Uh, in one scene, the, the scene where uh, Astro first wakes up, I'm going to refer to the robot version of Toby as Astro. Is his name Toby? Uh, yeah, that's, that's the kid's name. Course, in the anime, it's Tobio. <laughs> well, there you go. Got to localize it somehow. Yeah, but but yeah, in they Gotta whenever Astro your movie. whenever Astro first wakes up, he uh, 
his eye, so he's got like a separate layer on his eyelashes from his eyelids. Uh -huh. His eyelashes, or no, his eyelid is kind of phasing through his eyelash in nice. the scene where he wakes up. And then yeah. another scene where he's like... I mean, I can't imagine that being easy to Of do. course not, especially for a 2009 movie that didn't even make its entire budget. No. That was sad to me, figuring out yeah. that movie bombed. It, it caused that studio to close down. It really actually. did have a lot of heart behind it. Like, the That's humor true. is a lot better than I remember. They were, you know, that same studio was going to make a Legend of Zelda movie. Really? Yeah. They, I think the they hell was that they, put into action? They, put, they pitched it to Nintendo, and then Nintendo turned it down. Of course they did, because Nintendo hates their fans. What's funny is that it actually had, like, a, like a handsome iteration of Ganon. And then Tears of the Kingdom happened. That is oddly not specific. It's what, not, but... What version of Ganon isn't a handsome devil? Good point. I mean, Twilight Princess, ooh. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. Wind Waker, oh! Oh, oh man, Wind Waker Ganon, don't, don't even get me started. And then Breath of the Wild Ganon, don't, oh. Oh man, that man. What, did you just teleport? I, I'm just built different. Okay. <laughs> We're both just... Yo, check out this frame rate. Too. Of course. The Wii was built for this. Okay, okay, so I just remember the other animation error that I figured out in uh, Astro Wiz when he's first figuring out his powers. Uh -huh. It's whenever he's drilling through the mountain of, uh, on I Metro do remember City. the drill. I think they made a Happy Meal toy out of that. Yeah, he, uh, he's drilling through the mountain, and uh, whenever, he's, whenever he bursts through the top, it looks like he's on a green screen. Like, you can tell it's a separate animation layer. It's... It's kind of bad, to be honest. Oh. Uh, boy, I sure hope someone's got fire for that blunder. Yeah, other than that, the movie is better than I remember. Nathan Lane's in that. I forgot it. He really? Was in it. Yeah. And I, cool. didn't, I didn't know it at first, but then as, as soon as he opened his mouth, I was like, <laughs> yep, that is to mom. Nice. Back so soon? <laughs> Hello, Simba. <laughs> My name's Hammig. And then I forgot that Freddy Highmore is our titular character, Astro. Nice. You mean to Tobio, whatever? Yeah, Tobio. I want to see a meme of I am a surgeon, but with Toby from Astro Boy. God. <laughs> it's funny, my parents actually watch that show, The Good Doctor, so I'm like, wow, this is the only thing the internet knows this show for? A freaking meme? I am a surgeon. Now, Astro Boy is the only thing I know hey, Freddy Highmore for. Fair enough. Lots of other people knew him for uh, Arthur and the Invisibles. <laughs> really? Yeah. Remember that? Yes, I do. The children's movie that you don't remember anymore that everyone saw. Uh-huh. Then there are other bad classics, such as uh, Aliens in the Attic. <laughs> classic. Bad classic, but still classic. Uh-huh. This is not like, even bad class. That was a ma these are like those movies. A that, class masterpiece. These are like those movies that you would watch on like the like last day of school in the like, <laughs> first grade. <laughs> totally. What's funny is that Astro Boy was one of those films for me. <laughs> really? Yeah. I remember third grade, last day of school, we watched Wreck It Ralph, and it was the best. Um, that that was that's because it was just when my birthday had happened, and I had gotten a bunch of like Wreck It Ralph toys. No, I, I, I got Wrecker Ralph toys as well. I loved my Wrecker Ralph toys. I had a giant plush Wrecker Ralph. Probably, I'll probably show you. I right? had a giant figure of Wrecker Ralph instead. Ooh, cool. And you want to know the best part? Does it talk? He's, his, he talked and his fingers moved too. Ooh, his fingers? So, being a tiny little nine year old. Mm hmm. Who, was it John C. Riley or was it Brian T. Delaney that voiced him? I it? do not know, to be honest. I think it may have been John C. Riley. It's really? Like him. Or did they like. Use voice clips from. The I think they just. I think there were some voice clips they used from the movie, but other ones they redid, which I don't get. But okay, go off, I guess Disney. Uh, because Brian T. Delaney is who voiced Wreck It Ralph in the Time video game and Disney Infinity. The Time video game. Yeah. I, I played that on my friend's DS. Oh, uh, it was also on the Wii, and I'm pretty sure it was a DS game first, and they ported that to Wii, to so it was really bad. Yeah. Everyone Wait, that came it. out after the. Or was it a 3DS game? Because it was a 3DS game as yeah, well. The 3DS it was on came both. Out, the 3DS came out in 2011. Wreck-It Ralph came out in 2012. Yep. But I'm pretty sure it was one of those games where they took the DS game and ported it to 3DS. 
Yeah. One record off toy that I never was able to get my hands on, but I knew about because of Shop Disney. Uh, the Hero's Duty Rifle. They sold that? Yeah. It they was... sold a gun? Yes, they to sold To kids? That. Yeah, it came with the- it had an IR sensor in it, I think, and it came what? with, like, these little cybugs that you could set up. And basically, you put them on one side of the room, and shot at it, and the cybug would, like, launch off like it died. That is cool. It was That's really legit cool. cool. I wanted it so bad as a kid, but I just never was able to get it, because it was on Shop Disney, and as soon as I tried to get it, it, it went out sold. of stock. It was sold out, yep. Yeah. Everybody knew how cool it was, and so they took <laughs> it from me. Yeah, Shop Disney, man. That was- it was different times. Oh, Shop Disney. It's probably still a thing, but like no one really cares. Like, what are they selling on there now? Frickin'... They sell the lightsabers that they sell at Galaxy's Edge. Oh, okay. Which I will say is kind of cool. It's a freaking like, just elemental thing. It's like, please, please go see our movie. <laughs> please go watch our movie that nobody's watching. <laughs> exactly. I almost feel bad for elemental bombing. I feel really bad for um, Peter Stone. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh! Special guest star, my old Wreck-It Ralph plush. <laughs> it's John C. Riley. Does it does it make noise? No. Ah! The batteries died. Man. No, you know what you gotta do. My plushes that made noise, back, other than the tree Rex one. We got my Angry Birds plushes. We gotta get a screwdriver. We gotta get a screwdriver. Want me to go see if you have one? Uh oh! There's an on and off switch. How much are you willing to bet that there are corroded batteries in that thing right now? Ooh, there's a 100% chance. 100% <laughs> chance. Alright, after this level, should, we'll go get a screwdriver. I should check my Mario movie Bowser figure to see if his batteries are still good. The, the fire-breathing Bowser? Yeah, I got that guy as soon as I could. I don't even think we collected the bread brick, did we? I, I think... No, that was the last level. Yeah, we don't have it. But yeah, honestly, like I just, I just didn't. Oh, it's a canister. My bad. I saw Red that in the other figure, room. and I was like, ah, eh, maybe I guess. Why does the floor keep disappearing? What the? You see that? Frame rate. <laughs> I don't think it's frame rate. I think it's just the frame up rate was breaking earlier, and now it's the floor. Yeah. It's because Obi Wan's scratching his beard. It's too much for the. Ben, look the out! You're gonna fall. Yeah, I saw that figure. Don't worry about me, Luke. I'll be fine. I saw that figure, and I was like, eh, maybe, if I feel like it. But then I got it, and I was like, yes! <laughs> so cool! And honestly, it'd be cool if there was a version that, like, had, like, voice clips of Jack Black. <laughs> no, they get, like, a Jack Black sound-alike. No, you The can't. guy who voiced Kung Fu, or, uh, Poe in the Kung Fu Panda cartoon. No, you can't. No, you have to get Jack Black. Okay. I, I mean, you know how much he loved Bowser playing. Bowser. I know. I I think he totally. I've seen him. the Kelly Clarkson show. How was the only? Were you excited to play Bowser? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Freaking Bowser onesie. I love that. Yeah. Okay, there it is. How do we get in? Cool, my character's aiming right for that stormtrooper. I got it. I think. Nope. Can't yes. do that. Yeah, I can. Nah, watch this. Skeleton! Yo! It's like, like, Sans Undertale. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's what. Yo! Mob mentality. Lego Star Wars ripped off Undertale? Violence. Yeah, he took his head off. He did it again. You should drop a ball on me. No, drop one of these bombs on me. What? That did nothing. No, I mean this bomb right here, the one above my head. I don't even think you could do anything about that. You have to push the thing. No, you gotta push the button. Push the button and drop a bomb on my head. I'm not gonna progress anymore unless you drop that bomb on my head. How about you do it? I'm giving you an ultimatum. Oh. Thank you. That's what that does. I didn't realize. Alright. Do, 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 ah! do the pushy thing. Ah! He makes pain noises when he touches the thing. Wow. 
bread brick. Alright. We're done with the level. Yay! Super Ewok Catapult! My favorite! Forget disguises. Forget... Forget silhouettes. Forget poo money. Forget studs times ten. Exactly. That's my favorite. We get freaking plasma balls for, uh... For the slingshot. Ewok catapult. Yeah. All right. Arson. Hundred five gold bricks. Fifty five more to go. Look at uh, how many studs we have. I know six million, seven We're million. Seven million. We are on fire. Yeah. Someone take us out with a fire extinguisher. We are burning alive. We are on fire. 